Hey YouTube, it's just Monica here. And on today's Lock Talk, we're talking about conditioning our locks and whether you do, whether you don't, did you used to, do you not anymore? What's the deal with conditioning our locks? Let's talk about it. For me, conditioning has always been a part of my lock journey. There has never been a point in my journey where I chose not to condition my locks for any given reason. One of the main reasons why I condition and still deep condition my locks is because of how I wash my hair. I hate coming out of the shower and feeling like my hair is still dirty. There have been times where I've washed my hair, come out of the shower, and I can still see buildup or flakes in my scalp, and that drives me nuts. Recently, I have been having an issue with dry scalp, and my the flake situation is just out of control sometimes, so I hate coming out the shower and still seeing them. Drives me nuts. I could punch someone. Because of that, I tend to use a, a sulfate shampoo, so I'll just pick up any shampoo because it doesn't matter to me now and it has a sulfate and then I'll also wash it with Dr. Castell's soap uh, which is very very strong in my opinion. I don't know if it's any more strong than any other soap but um, I usually mix those two shampoos together get a really really good lather really 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 scrub really 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 rub my scalp and my locks trying to make sure I'm getting everything that's built up and caught in my locks out. Because I use those strong sulfate shampoos in my hair I am severely drying my hair out and what I hate right behind the flakes and buildup in my hair is crunchy locks. There have been times where I felt my locks and they just felt like they could just start a fire, like they'd be a good conductor for fire. That's, that's what they felt like. And while locks, especially interlocks, aren't going to be smooth, they can definitely be soft. I want my hair to be bendy, flexible, light, movable, not dry and just combustible. I don't want that. So for me, mainly, I'm conditioning my hair because I'm stripping my hair of all of its natural oils. So for some people who choose to use sulfate-free shampoos or people who even choose just to do water washes, they may not have the same issue that I have with the dryness of my locks. So they may not need to condition. So I can see why some people choose to, some people choose not to. For me, it is a requirement. There are also people who choose just to not condition during a period of their journey, typically during the starter lock slash baby lock phase of their journey. For me, during that period, again, I chose to condition because I installed my locks using the interlock method. So with me forcing my hair into a lock, I was never really concerned about my hair unraveling or slipping from the lock. That's typically the concern that I have watched on other videos or read on blogs about when they were talking about conditioning starter locks. If you start your locks with coils, I can see why you wouldn't condition your locks early on. And it sort of ties with why it's recommended that you don't wash your hair too frequently in the beginning stages of your locks. And that's just to allow your hair to be itself and actually start to form a foundation. Um, coils don't have a foundation. There's nothing really locked there. So I can see why you aren't trying to over manipulate your hair during that period of time so that I can get and I can understand that, but again, for me, I interlocked my locks to begin with, so I I conditioned from the very beginning. Another reason why people don't condition their locks that I actually do think is just a myth is that they don't want to soften their hair so that it would s slow down the locking process. Um, that one, I don't really believe so much. I can believe the whole starter lock, you know, less manipulation is more process. I can't necessarily get with the, you don't want to soften your hair while you're locking because it slows down the process. For me, those two things are just mutually exclusive because there are plenty of people who have soft textured hair and can lock just fine. So I don't necessarily think that conditioning your locks will slow down the locking process. However, I'm no scientist. I'm no cosmetologist. I know nothing. These are all just my opinions. With that being said, I'm for conditioning our locks, especially if we're feeling like they're dry and could snap or cause a fire. So you tell me, what do you guys do? Are you conditioning? Are you not conditioning? Are you teetering? Are you on the fence? Are there some points that I've missed? Probably so. This video is very short, but you tell me and let's have a discussion about it down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.